Hey everyone. Uh, yeah, this is me actually doing everything on uh, SteamVR with uh, KDE Plasma Wayland. For those who do not know, basically it was uh, pretty much impossible to run uh, SteamVR in any sort of Wayland way. At least, you know, in its most basic form. But there's actually an update to something called uh, X Wayland, which allows XORB uh, applications to basically run in the Wayland video compositor. What's good about this is basically uh, anything that is just not updated for Wayland, including like stuff like Steam VR, uh, we couldn't actually get uh, direct DRM leasing from VR headsets from your GPU. That's now solved. And you know, as you can see, everything still pretty much works uh, in terms of like actually, you know, my full body tracking, I'm running VR chat with Proton 7.0, which also just came out today, a very big update to Proton, which uh, allows a lot more um, capabilities, yada, yada, yada. I mean, these are all things that are software and get better over time. Of course, it's not perfect. There is still problems with running uh, Steam VR really in any Linux form, uh, like asynchronous reproduction still is broken. There's a lot of things that just uh, aren't really recommended to be doing VR for Linux yet. Uh, which is why I kind of put off a video for a while. I know Valve is definitely going to update stuff for this, like they're rewriting what seems to be the entire SteamVR stack uh, to work better with OpenXR and Vulkan, which will allow better cross compatibility with all that stuff, but that's just a matter of time. There is one more thing I want to point out though, uh, that I think maybe could solve, be solved with a Proton fix is if Valve's watching. Uh, I'm actually in a very popular world it's called offline uh and in the world there's a video player that gives some super immersive lighting uh but the issues with running vr chat with proton on linux is no video players work uh running through proton i'm curious if that's one of those fixes that valve can implement in proton actually make things better because if that is solved and like all the other small stuff related to things and yeah vr could totally be a full-time thing for VR. It's it's not it, it's it's a little close. Oh, there's one more little bug I noticed uh, with the whole Xorg and Wayland issue, is uh, even though I do have trackers working, I can't actually access the manage trackers button, or I can, but there will be actually nothing uh, actually putting up there. So, yeah, just just small little reports. Oh, and one more final thing. Uh, this is mostly again. I'm hoping that Valve is watching this video because they can know these things. I'm sure. They care about these little bug fixes or, or, or bug reports because um, the Steam Deck and everything around that, SteamOS, will be running on Wayland, which is why it's so important to know all the issues with uh, X Wayland and all the bugs related to SteamVR. But yeah, uh, super user access doesn't work. Um, you can't do anything. Not that you would want to do anything anyway, because once you turn on super access, you get a weird floating thing with the uh, the room the the room barrier for I can't even think of the name boundaries. But that's always kind of been an issue no matter what, uh, no matter how you ran CMVR on Linux. It's just one of those things. But yeah, it's really cool to see so many things happening to the Linux desktop in terms of just gaming. Uh, the Steam Deck comes out in less than 10 days. And you will know that on this channel, I will be doing everything I can to make even VR chat. My, my biggest goal, and the reason why I wanted to record this video now with full bite tracking in SteamVR, is I want to actually get VR chat running on the Steam Deck with SteamOS, and even get full body tracking working. Something about that, even though it's probably gonna be a freaking mess and disgusting and terrible, I just, it just sounds amazing to be able to do that. And I think I will be able to get it working. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that is just my little Linux update for VR. Maybe we'll do more of these, depending on the, how this video does. But um, yeah.